Sad news topping the news at 10. Tributes are pouring in tonight, honoring Memphis police officer Joffrey Brad. He died in the hospital earlier today. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Gertler in for Shea Arthur. Red had been in the hospital for two weeks after being shot in a library in East Memphis. WREG's Jordan James is live with more. Jordan, how is he being remembered tonight? Hey, Jessica, Officer Red is being remembered as a dedicated public servant who always went beyond the call of duty, which is why this loss hurts for so many across this community tonight. The veteran officer died following a two week stay in the hospital after being injured while responding to a trespassing call at a Memphis library earlier this month. Uh, officer, come on. An incident that proved to be deadly after investigators say he was shot in the head by accused trespasser Torrance Jackson Jr., who was killed by Red's MPD partner. Well, this is a great challenge for the family. Weeks leading up to Red's death, WREG spoke to his pastor about how much he means to their congregation. He was our chief of security and um, he does so just a kind spirit uh, person and uh, would do whatever his hands would find to do. Uh, he actually uh, was um, just kind of visiting around the church and keeping watch on the parking lot before he joined. It's a gesture that loved ones say embodied who he was. In a statement posted online, a relative said in part, Officer Red always was a God fearing man that loved God and his family. He kept us and anybody that came in contact with him, laughing with his jokes. Red leaves behind a wife, three children, and a grieving community. And with this death, Officer Red is the uh, first officer in eight years to be shot and killed in the line of duty. Reporting her live tonight outside of North Main Precinct Station, Jordan James, WREG News Channel 3.